Are you done with this? Yes. Very good. Now let's just start our methods of preparation. That means M of methods of preparation of carboxylic acid. So the first is from primary alcohols and aldehyde. From primary, this part in this the reactions mostly we have learned in the previous class so please be focused here that is from primary alcohols and aldehydes so you know that if you are going to use a mild oxidizing agent on a primary alcohol it will be converted into aldehyde and if you are going to again use that mild oxidizing agent on that aldehyde it will be converted into carboxylic acid or if you are going to use a strong oxidizing agent like uh, uh, alkaline KMnO4 or acidified K2Cr2O7 in primary alcohols, it will be directly converted into carboxylic acid. So I'm going to write the reaction that we have already studied. That is, this is your RCH2OH, that is primary alcohol. If you're going to use alkaline basic KMnO4 followed by hydrolysis or H3O positive, then it will be directly converted into carboxylic acid. <clears throat> like CH3, CH2, CH2. There are other agent, uh, reagents. Like if you are going to use this reagent, you have studied already CRO3, H2SO4. This is called John's reagent, and this is used to convert primary alcohol directly into carboxylic acid. So it will be CH3, CH2, CWH. Is my video lagging? Yes, sir. Your voice was like. Let me know if you are unable to hear me. Please do it. And again, if you are going to use this John's reagent on aldehyde, then it will be converted. So it reduces one carbon, right? Where is one carbon? No, uh, what is that like called chromate? Chromium trioxide, you can say. <clears throat> CRO3. Are you talking about CRO3? Yeah. Chromium trioxide. Oh. Yes, I done. <clears throat> or chromium oxide, you can directly say. So, John's agent is very, very important. The next is from alkyl benzenes. From alkyl benzene, that means the uh, alkyl group will be connected to benzene, that is alkyl benzene, and we will use a strong oxidizing agent. As you can see, this is your benzene, and if CH3 is there, this is called alkyl benzene, and how we are going to convert this in benzoic acid. So we are going to use a strong oxidizing agent, KMnO4 KOH, alkyl KMnO4, and give heat to this then this hydrogen will be eliminated. All of the hydrogen will be eliminated and a salt of carboxylic acid will form in this. It will be oxidized and then followed by acidification. This K will be replaced by H plus and it will be converted into CWH. So in this way, you can do the reaction, which is quite easy.
let me know when you are done with this. Done. Sir. So, can you do this? C O O K. Yeah. C O O K. Yeah. Why you didn't replace this hydrogen? Why you did replace this? You broke this, right? You cleaved this. Yes or no? Yeah. Why you did it? Because that carbon is already attached there to the benzyl group. Benzene and it will be in resonance. That's all. Very good. Hmm. Very good. Now it's also benzoic acid. Now the next preparation is from nitriles and amides. It's also very easy. Amides. So as you can see, if you are going to use this nitriles RCN with either acid or base and hydrolyze it, then see what will happen. It will be first converted into amides. Mm -hmm. And then again, if you are going to use this acid or base and heat it, then it will be converted into carboxylic acid. How the reaction take, took place? So it's very easy. You know that this is now uh, this will be oxidized or reduced. This there is triple bond, and so bond will be broken, and oxygen will be introduced here, and hydrogen will also be introduced here since two bond is oxidized. So this H two will be attacked here, and it will form amide. And on amide, this bond will again be broken and OH will occupy this and H plus will occupy this. So you can think of like this negative positive. So this positive will come here and this negative part will go there and it will form carboxylic acid. So this is how we prepare carboxylic acid from nitriles. First nitrile will be converted into amides and amide will be converted into carboxylic acid. So I think it's very easy. So you can do this on your own.
let me know when you are done with this Please do this also. <clears throat> there will be also a byproduct that is generated. Am I audible here? Yeah. So will you be able to? Yes, yeah, these are like you'll it have a be annoying better, acid, right? Yeah, plus NH three. Yeah, and, this and benzoic be acid better. plus NH2. NH2, very good. Now the next preparation is from Grignard. From Grignard reagents. First, we are going to react this with RNGCH and RNGX. This, with, this is Grignard. And we are going to react this with solid <coughs> dry ice. Dry ice, that means solid CO2. That is known as solid CO2. That is known as dry ice. So basically, if you are going to react this with this in the presence of dry ether, because Grignard is very reactive. So what will happen? As you can see, this will have positive charge. This will have negative charge. Let me take here. It's negative charge. And you know that this will be positive. This will be negative. So this positive will be attacked here. And you can see this negative will attack here. So C double bond O is here. And R will attack on C. R will uh, attack on C and then there will be negative oxygen or negative Mg plus. Are you getting my point? Yes or no? Yeah. So it's very easy. This is the by, uh, basically adductor intermediate. And if you are going to again hydrolyze it in the presence of H, uh, H plus, so H plus will take this place and it will be converted into RC double bond O, OH. And the byproduct is Mg and OH minus and then X. <clears throat> so please do write it. Let me know when you are done with this. <clears throat> so if I'm going to give you a question on this. Yeah, I don't. Very good. <clears throat> So if I'm going to give you this CH3, MgDr, and then there is C double bond O, 
and in the presence of dry what will be the name of carboxylic acid you can directly tell me just count the number here uh, count the number of carbon here one and one here so the name of carboxylic acid having two carbon two carbon it and carboxylic acid so it will be ethanoic acid right so can i directly write ch3c double h or you can go by the <coughs> step by step negative positive positive negative and it will be like this and again you are going to react this with h3o positive h plus o h minus so it will be converted into are you getting my point and yeah. the byproduct is mgoh br since here it is br so you are going to write br yeah can i change the slide yes okay now two more preparation the fifth one is from it's very easy from acyl halide and anhydrides and anhydrides so if you have an acyl halide like this there are two ways to prepare carboxylic acid first you are just going to hydrolyze it and you will be getting rc double oh and cl minus will be eliminated oh minus will replace chlorine and it will form rc double oh and cl minus will release itself from carboxylic acid or you can do this in the presence of base and h2 first it will form rc double o negative and cl plus uh, cl negative 2 and then if you are going to hydrolyze it in the presence of base so it will be converted into carboxylic acid h plus will attack on this carboxylic anion and in this way you can convert this into carboxylic acid Let me know when you are done with this. So RCO is a, it's a ketone group? No, 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 no. This is carboxylate anion. It is like RC double bond for O negative. <clears throat> Got it? Yeah. Can I change the slide? Okay. Yeah.
Are you done with this? Yes, sir. Very good. Now, from anhydride, it's very easy to understand how we are going to prepare. If you have an anhydride like this, C6H5. You just need to hydrolyze it. You just need to hydrolyze it. It has two parts, H plus and OH minus. So as you know that, this will have negative and this will have positive. So positive will attack on negative. So you can see this will form C6H5, C double bond O, OH. And <clears throat> you can see there will be C6H5 and this will attack on this. So it will also form same. So two moles of benzoic acid. Are you getting my point? It is benzoic anhydride. Yes or no? Acid anhydride is a functional group which has a formula, general formula, RC double bond O, O, C double bond O, R. Are you getting my point? If you have got this, please do write the name of the products. Its name is benzoic ethanoic anhydride. Please do write the IPS name of the product.
Are you done with this? Ross, please do yeah. respond. So what you have got, it's very easy. You can see this. Benzoic part. acid. Benzoic and acid. Ethanoic acid. So it will be C6H5COOH. And this part CH3C. So it will be CH3COOH. So it's very easy, right? Yes. <clears throat> Now the last preparation of this is basically from Easter's. From Easter's. It's also very easy. You know that when you are going to hydrolyze ester, you will get carboxylic acid as well as alcohol. So if you have an ester, there are two ways to convert it, you need to hydrolyze it in the presence of acid. So it will be H3 O positive. So this part will be basically converted into carboxylic acid. And the left one part will be converted into alcohol, C2H5. So in the same way, this is your CH3, CH2, CH2, C double O, C2H5. If you are going to, this is the another method. If you are going to use base, then this will be converted into a carboxylic acid salt. Which one? This part. So you can see this will be converted into carboxylic acid salt. CH3, CH2, CH2. And then there will be C double O in it. And this will be converted into alcohol. C2H5, OH. After getting carboxylic acid salt, you need to react this with acid in the presence of water. H plus will uh, take place of sodium and you will be getting a carboxylic acid that is butanoic acid. CH3CH2COOH. This is your butanoic acid. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Please do write it as fast as you can. Are you done with this? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's start its chemical properties. And it's also very easy. Chemical reaction. So first of all, we are going to talk about reactions involving Cleavage of 
OH bond. Reactions involving cleavage of OH bond. So first we are going to take acidity. And we have already discussed what is acidic character. So before going on increasing or decreasing or uh, acidic strength, we are going to react this with metal. Reaction with metal. Reactions with metals and alkalis. So you know that when acid react with metal, it will form salt plus hydrogen gas. But when acid react with alkalis or base, then salt plus hydrogen gas will form. So it's very obvious. Two moles of RCOOH reacting with two moles of sodium. So it will be giving you RCOONA, which is carboxylic acid salt. And hydrogen gas will be liberated. So this is known as its name is sodium carboxylate. Now, if you are going to react this carboxylic acid with a base or an alkali, NaOH, then you will be getting same salt along with water. And if you are going to react this with carboxylic acid with the sodium hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate, you will be getting the same salt along with water plus carbon dioxide. You have learned this reaction in class 10th also. When acid react with carb mm, sodium carbonate, it will form salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. And when acid gets um, when acid react with sodium hydrogen carbonate, then the product are same. So please do write it. Let me know when you are done with this. Yeah. Mm, done. Very good. Now always remember this point. If you are going for acidic character, so acidic character is directly proportional to minus I, electron withdrawing group, or minus R, directly proportional to K, acid dissociation constant, and inversely proportional to PK, inversely proportional to plus I, 
or we can also write inversely proportional to plus r inversely proportional to kb this dissociation constant and directly proportional to pkb so always remember that if you have this oh, oh that is the pi bond will be moving so if this carbon is connected with electron donating group then the acidity decreases and if this carbon is connected with electron withdrawing group then it increases its acidic character so i can write here electron withdrawing group stabilizes the carboxylate anion and strengthen strengthen those and here electron donating group pd destabilizes the carboxylate anion and we can stress it so in a compound if the electron withdrawing group are powerful or more it will be more acidic and if it is weak then it is weaker please do write it and then let me know Are you done with this?
Let me know when you're done with it. Done, sir. So it's very easy. Now there are some arrange, uh, series that is given in NCRT. Have you seen it? Mm, you can easily. Do the question on this place. I'm going to give you a question. Uh, please arrange this. In increasing or decreasing order of acidic character. So first you have to take care of the group that is attached with this carboxylic acid and understand the nature of the group. So you can see NO2 is there. That means it is electron uh, withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing group. This is your electron donating group. This is uh, ether, which is electron donating group. So this will be the most acidic if you are going to take this as A, B, and C. C is the most acidic, then comes your B, and then comes your A. Because in A, this decreases its acidic strength. That's why. So I think it's very easy, right? Please do write it. Are you done with this? Yeah. No. Now see, we are going to see the next chemical reaction. So you can write a topic. These reactions are very easy. Reactions involving cleavage of COH bond. First, we saw OH bond, and then COH uh, bond. Now you can see this formation of anhydride. Formation of anhydride. If you have formation of anhydride, see, this is your carboxylic acid, ethanoic acid. And if you are going to take two carboxylic acid, two moles of carboxylic acid and in the presence of acid H plus mineral acid and you are going to heat it or, or either you can take a uh, heat it in the presence of P2O5. Then what will happen? This H2O will be eliminated. This H2O will be eliminated and you can see what will uh, what it will form C double bond O O, C double bond O. This is what forms ethanoic anhydride. So it's very easy. Please do write.
now after this first one second reaction is esterification and we know that what is esterification formation of ester so first write it and then let me know in this all reaction we have already studied Let me know when you are done with this. <clears throat> done done sir very good. esterification is also very easy so write a point with me carboxylic acid or esterified or converted into ester, ester with alcohols or phenols in the presence of mineral acid such as concentrated H2SO4 or either we can use HCl gas as a catalyst. <clears throat> so if you have carboxylic acid and it will be converted into R dash OH. Sorry, reacted with R dash OH in the presence of mineral acid. So it will be converted into ester along with H2. Mm. Please do that.
Well, let me know when you are done this. Done. Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. Now the next reaction is basically for the reaction. Reaction with. PCL five. PCL three. And SOCl. So, a carboxylic acid going to react with PCL5, it will give you a cyclorate with PUCL3 plus H. If you are going to react this carboxylic acid with PCL3, then you will be getting again a cyclorate along with H3PO3, phosphorus acid. If you are going to react this RCOOH with SOCl3, again you will get RCOCl along with SO2 plus H. This reaction is similar to preparation of haloalkanes from alcohols. Mm. And its name is phosphorus oxychloride. So you have only, uh, you need to study, I mean, have you studied biomolecules? Yeah. Very good. Then if it is possible for you on Saturday, then take an, another extra class on Saturday so that we will be able to connect this. I mean. Yes, I am. Okay. Actually, every Saturday. week, like they yeah. say, there's just every week they say there's a uh, extra class, but they don't do it. No, uh, if you will, uh, if you will be angry, then I'll definitely take an extra class. Yeah, I'm okay. Then at Indian time, eight p.m. Okay.
Done, sir. The fourth reaction is reaction with ammonia. It's very easy. If you are going to react this carboxylic waste acid with ammonia, see what will happen. This will release H plus. And since ammonia has a lone pair, so it will donate one electron and form a coordinate bond with this. So it will be NH4 positive. And since this carboxylic acid releases positive charge H plus, so it will have negative and there will be bonding, ionic bonding between these two. So it will be CH3, C double, or negative and NH4 positive. And after forming this, you are going to heat it and then H2O will eliminated and in this way you can see two hydrogen from here and one oxygen from here so what you will get you will get a mild and this has a name ammonium acid and this has a name acetamide it's very easy Again, if you have benzoic acid and you are going to react this with NH3, please do write the above reaction. So again, it will form NH uh, C double bond O negative and NH4 positive. But if you are going to heat it, then again, H2 will be eliminated from here and it will form benjamite, C-O-N-H. This is your benjamite. Are you done with this? Firoz? Yeah. Okay. Now, what if you have this compound? CWH is here as well as CWH is here. You are going to react with NH3. Then you can see this will be your CWO negative and NH4 positive. And this will be your C double bond, uh, double O negative and NH4 positive. And if you are going to heat it, then 2H2O will be eliminated. 2H2O will be eliminated. 1H2O from the above one, this will form CONH2. And this will also form CONH2. And if you will give a strong heat or still you are heating it, then a strong heating, I'm going to write here, a strong heating. then NH3 will be eliminated.
and its name is thalamide you will see this compound in the means and this compound is the name thalamide thalamide not thalamide Please do write it. So here our chapter is completed. I will see you tomorrow, and we'll complete next chapter. That is amines. We can easily complete the whole syllabus that, according to you, the chapters that you have told me. Will be completed by Saturday. Okay. Yeah done. Okay, so this is it. Tomorrow we are going to start the new job. I mean, okay. So reduction, decarboxylation. That's not there. No, uh, uh, it will be there. We will cover it. Uh, basically, oh. uh, a named reaction is there. That is well hall. Uh, what we say? It's like a villain name. Helbol hard gel in reaction, right? HBL. Yeah. We will complete this as well as some concept from class 11 that is uh, meta uh, directing group. Okay. okay. Tomorrow we will be covering this and uh, please uh, cover the IUPAC of amines.